In this video, I'm going to create a customer aging report. So you see um, basically when your pay, uh, the payments are due for each customer. Uh, right here, you just see a raw um, data dump of your customer, the due date, um, the amount that's due, and then the status. The first thing I'm gonna do is get rid of payments that are already received or written off. So I'm gonna say select expert, and it's already chosen my status because I'm, I've highlighted it. Otherwise, you can choose new and then choose status. Um, and I'm going to say is equal to. And here I'm going to say not received because I only want to see stuff that is not received. Uh, refresh. OK, so here's the stuff that's not received. OK, the next thing I'm going to do is I want to see for each one how many days are left until um, the payment is due um, or is it overdue? So that's what that's going to tell me. So I'm going to do a new formula and call it days and say OK. And here I'm going to take the date difference. So it's just date diff, open parentheses, and it's going to be my current date. Oh, the first thing actually, sorry, that's not what's first in this formula. First, you want to say what you want your interval to be. So I'm going to, I want this in days. So then comma, which is just a small D with uh, quotations around it. Then I'm going to say current date and then another comma. And then I'm going to say my due date, which is this one. Say OK. And I'm going to drag that on to see here. OK, so my current date is this, 12-1-2014. Um, and you can see that here it's got 15. Wait a minute. Yeah, here we've got 15 days. Sorry, 14 days until it's due. These are overdue because they're negative. Anything below zero is going to be overdue. Um, this was due on 9-20-2014, so it's 72 days overdue. Okay, and so the next thing, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to put these payments into buckets. Um, past due, uh, zero to 30 days, 61 to to 90 days and then greater than 90 and that will be what my aging report will look like.